38 Special versus 9mm in our Hornady American Gunner ammunition. And what I'm doing today is a standard pressure test. I know a lot of people like to see the standard pressure. And within the standard pressure with the, this ammo line, the bullet weights are a little bit different. Because we have a 125 grain for our 38 Special and a 115 grain for our 9mm. So the 9mm does come in a 124 grain, but that's a plus P. And a lot of people like to see standard pressure versus standard pressure. They think it's unfair when I run a 38 plus P versus a nine millimeter. You know, I kind of disagree, but anyways, Hornady American Gunner is kind of economy ammunition. It's not necessarily loaded that hot as far as I can tell. And we're just using Hornady XTP bullets, which are typically not really great bullets for nine millimeter and 38 special, but they are kind of an economical hollow point that do work under certain circumstances. So what I'm doing today is our compact gun test, not our subcompact and not our full size. And what I mean by compact, three inch revolver versus four inch semi-automatic pistol, because actually these guns weigh the same. I weighed them on my scale and they were like 23 ounces each. And our overall size is very similar and we have about the same amount of barrel travel. A lot of people will say it's unfair because I'm using a four inch versus a three inch, but actually this three inch revolver has more barrel travel with that bullet than this four inch semi-automatic pistol. And a lot of people say, well, cylinder gap. But actually what you're losing out of a cylinder gap with something like a 38 special is maybe 30 feet per second, something like that. It's not anything to really take that much consideration into. So I'm gonna go through the current graph, see what kind of velocity and accuracy I get at the same time. Then I'm gonna do my 10% clear ballistic test. So what I do for my test is just a plain shot of clear ballistics without any barriers in the way, no rib simulation, no denim, anything like that, just to see what our best case scenario is, you know, how these bullets are typically meant to perform. And then we'll put our more real world simulation on there, which is four layers of denim. And after three inches of clear ballistics was representing our pectoral muscle, quarter inch MDF, medium density fiber board to represent hitting ribs or sternum. A lot of people ask why three inches? Because a pectoral muscle isn't that big. Well, why is 18 inches, you know, your maximum for, you know, penetration? You don't want to go beyond that. It's because this is not a one-to-one -one ratio. So this is more like an inch and a half pectoral muscle. And then I'm going to shoot up my steel silhouette up there and just see what kind of practical accuracy I can get. So let's get started with this test. All right, our 9 millimeters rated at 1155 feet per second. Our 38 special is rated at 900 feet per second. So let's see what we get in our 4-inch barrel here. See how close we get to 1155 feet per second. About five yards from the target. 1143. 11.53. 11.52. 11.44. 11.36. So just a little bit below rate of velocity, but pretty close. Now with our 38 Special, it's rated at 900 feet per second. Let's see what we get. 896, 860, 856, 892, 919. So about what you would expect. Actually a little bit higher than what I would have expected because it's only a three inch barrel. So not too bad overall. Let's throw our ballistics gel block and see what we get with these. All right, let's start off with our nine millimeter, just plain clear ballistics, no denim, anything like that. See what we get. All right. Same thing with our 38 Special. Let's go take a look. All right, so that's some pretty interesting performance. Our damage is not significantly different between the two of these. Our 38 Special went a little bit deeper than what it should have. It doesn't really look like there's any expansion other than just some you know, mild bullet deformation. But even so, what I've noticed with 38 Special a lot of times is that because the, the hollow cavity is larger, somehow it slows it down differently. As where a nine millimeter has a very small hollow cavity and a lot of times it expands, but it takes yeah, energy differently, I suppose, is the only way I can explain it. But with our 9mm and our plain gel, we have a penetration of about 15 and a half inches, which is perfectly fine. With our 38 Special, mm, we're at about 18 and a third inches. 
which I guess would te technically be over penetration, but really it's not because clear ballistics is less dense than organic gel. So really that's not doing too bad. So let me put in our denim and our quarter inch medium density fiberboard because sometimes that's where we see some differences and see how these do. All right, medium density fiberboard, nine millimeter. See how I can get with this. All right, let me try the 38 special now. All right, 38 special, denim, MDF. Let's go take a look. All right, I kind of expected that. I knew at least with one of these I was going to get in the second block there. I was thinking it probably would have been the 38 Special. So what we're seeing here is that with our 9mm, it did decent. I've seen cheap 9 9mm do a lot worse than this. We went to about 18 inches. We have a little bit of expansion. Definitely not comparable to like HST and Gold Dot, but it deformed enough that it slowed it down. Now with our 38 Special, really this changed the equation. You know, with this bullet being backwards, it probably tumbled somewhere in here. And that probably had a lot to do with, you know, clogging that hollow point. And, you know, that effect of that larger than the nine millimeter hollow point is kind of taken away when it hits this. And what we're looking at here is we're looking at about 23 inches of penetration, which is over penetration. I suspect if this were organic gel, we might be looking at like 20 to 21 inches. So it is over penetration technically, but really it's not that much over penetration to where it's something I would worry about. Passing through an attacker and hitting you know, an innocent person or something like that. So obviously right here, what we're seeing is the nine millimeter is doing better. And of course it's moving a lot faster. That's typically why you gotta use 38 plus P to really get decent performance. So. Let's shoot our target here. I think I'll just do 25 yards because that'll give me kind of an over, overview of the accuracy. And let's see how that does for me. All right, 25 yards from the target. Let's see how the 9mm does for me. Too bad. Now let's see how the 38 special does. All right, I'm aiming center mass, so I don't know where those are going. I'm suspecting they're going left. Let me aim to the right. Let's see if I can make it. I think they're. I think they're shooting left. So. I'm going to aim over about maybe eight inches to the right. All right. This particular loader is an H and K model 10 for a Smith and Wesson model 10 works decent on this revolver. All right, so I think that's mostly the gun with this issue, where I just have a hard time hitting stuff with it because, you know, this Taurus, it just seems like it wants to shoot kind of to the left for me, at least in my previous test. So that doesn't really show a whole lot when it comes to our ballistic testing, though, but I always like to shoot for accuracy. And what we're seeing is clearly this isn't going to be a great gun for testing the ammo's accuracy, but it is okay for ballistic testing. So what we're seeing here is the typical thing that you see in... This is kind of where a lot of people get some of the misconceptions about 38 Special. They'll do tests like this, they'll see tests like this, and oh wow, 38 Special sucks. When this is really one of the slowest 38 Specials out there, it's just not a good bullet design. You know, a lot of the ammo that you get from like Underwood and Buffalo Boar, if they're gonna use this bullet, it would come out of this gun at probably 1100 feet per second. It would do a lot better, or people are using better de designed bullets 
if they want a serious load for 38 special and this is just kind of the cheap stuff that you see that doesn't do particularly well but honestly it didn't do that bad because you know it did some damage and it didn't really over penetrate that much now with our nine millimeter actually for nine millimeter standards that wasn't that great but it's still performing to where we want it to perform we're not getting over penetration uh, we're getting some expansion stuff like that so it does well it does well but it's not doing well compared to other nine millimeters so that's what you get today for that test with the hornady american gunner it's kind of a cheap ammo it's kind of like a substitute to like winchester train and defend federal train and protect it's just that it's slightly more expensive because it's in 25 round boxes instead of 50 so you could do worse but that's what you get today with this so as always comment share and like and thanks for watching